They started over proposed changes to government benefits. I am here because I'm indignant. I am indignant that my grandparents are going to receive 5% less of their already anemic pension after having worked for 45 years. Anti-government protests spread across Nicaragua. Demonstrators fought with pro-government groups. The army deployed. The government blocked television coverage. Human rights groups say dozens are dead, including a journalist shot while covering the protests. Then President Daniel Ortega relented. The delegates will be ready to enter into talks and that the first topic to be discussed will be the pension issue, to discuss it there. Despite promising to alter the proposal changing government benefits, the protests continue. Ortega is a Nicaraguan revolutionary. He governed the country in the 1980s. He was ousted in the 1990s and reclaimed power in 2007. His wife is his vice president. He's eliminated term limits and consolidated power. The State Department condemns what it says is excessive use of police force there and calls for discussions, quote, to resolve the current conflict, restore respect for human rights, and achieve a better, more democratic future for all Nicaraguans. It was just a matter of time for the 10 years of repression, for the 10 years of electoral frauds, for the 10 years of when we could not take to the streets to protest freely. They are over. Nicaragua exploded and took to the streets. In a region where others, in Venezuela and Honduras, have taken to their streets. This week, the State Department ordered all non-essential employees and diplomats' families to leave the country. The State Department also advises all Americans planning to travel to Nicaragua, reconsider going.